A brief overview about virtual reality. Virtual reality has been made fairly well known through games such as World of Warcraft. There are also ways, though, that the users today can create their own virtual spaces. Active Worlds has been around since the late 1990s and is a virtual space that was used by Harvard for River City. Stephen Rosedale had been working on his own version of virtual realities and came out with Second Life in 2003. Both of these platforms have avatars that can be used for free, but to actually create the islands costs money. Several years back, Second Life released its source code, and as a result, other vendors have moved in, used the source code, and created opportunities such as OpenSim, where you have programmers and users coming together and using the code to create virtual worlds on their own machines. However, you need rather significant technical expertise and as a result other vendors are coming out and providing servers at lower cost than Second Life and using the advantage of the open source code itself. As more vendors and suppliers come on the market, you'll see things like hypergrid business show up as a way to provide information to those who want to use virtual worlds. Recently, too, more advances are coming out in the way that the users will interface with virtual spaces. The Oculus Rift is promising to have a more human-like experience where the avatars respond to the gestures of the person sitting at the computer, not just through keyboard. Facebook has recently invested in some of this technology, which suggests it might become quite large. And as a closing comment about your virtual experiences, the world that you see comes to you actually through something called a viewer. Second Life has its own viewers, but with the advent of the open source movement, more viewer vendors have come on the market, each one claiming that their viewer is either better for view the viewers themselves or for developers, so you'll need to make up your own mind there. The magic actually comes when you take these elements and create a unique immersive environment.